Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Khusham di ji aya nu khuye morkh. Pakhair ragle ni hao chure shumbe washwale Ohio Alzheimer's. Guten Morgen. Hola. Bonjour. Privet. Kaifa hal? Hale shama chotore. Ahlan wasalan marhaba. Kaifa haluka. Mucho. Gracias. Ishpata. And a very amazing good morning to everybody who's tuned into PTV World and are watching World this morning alongside the amazing, fantabulous, superb Shiza Hashmi. And Shahzad Khan. Hi, Shiza. How are you today? Thank you for the kind words, and I am doing absolutely great. How are you? Dare I ask that? <laughs> well, I feel great, uh, ecstatic, superb too as well. And there's a reason behind that, ladies and gentlemen, which I'm not going to let go because of the fact that I was very excited last night or probably two days ago too. I know. As soon as we had... But I got the news that this gentleman is actually going to make his way to our studio and right. he'll be on our show. I think I felt great. I thank Allah Almighty for giving us this opportunity to have been sitting right in front of him right now. And to meet I I do feel a little person. nervous. Uh, I, I might not have felt this nervous, uh, I think, probably, you know, when RDB was here, or all of these superstars came on our show too as well. But now, finally, I think I've come down to a point where I feel as if probably we are being examined. <laughs> <laughs> That's true as well. And, you know, we are psyched ever since we found out that we are going to meet this one in person. Yeah. We have seen him uh, on our screens for quite some time now, and we have been fans, you know, and we love him wholeheartedly. <laughs> Absolutely. I have no idea why you're laughing. But to be honest, I'm nervous as well. But let's make it a fun time to chat with him. We will indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Let that anticipation actually make you a little more agitated because we're not going to give him away to you just not like right that now. but before we do that as you all know that we have this birthday <laughs> wishes segment too as well so for all those people celebrating their birthdays today please make sure that you enjoy yourselves have some good meal go out with your family and treat yourself so let's see whose birthday it is today let's so everybody out there let's do that let's sing the birthday song yeah Right, ladies and gentlemen, so these are the few people who are actually celebrating their birthdays, who have actually written to us. So a very happy birthday to Mr. Tayyab Bhatti, Miss Aisha Vakas. Go on. Um, Mr. Muhammad Arsalan. Tahira Ahmed Sultan, Muhammad Aslam, Nigat Yase, you know, all of you are actually going to be great people in the near future. A very <laughs> happy birthday to all of yes. you. And again, thank you so much for sharing your special days with us. We love celebrating them with you. Wow. I mean, I mean, what's the point of celebrating birthdays when we do not even have a birthday cake over here? I think we should actually tell our producers to get us birthday cakes so that <laughs> at least we can celebrate with them. But you, you know, know so this that is they your, get the feeling. Absolutely. This is your birthday month and I promise you we are going to have a cake for your birthday yeah. here. <laughs> well, okay. So I think I'm actually going to age like wine too as well. Wow. So you know, this, this is how what, what people <laughs> want. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, whether you need to keep an umbrella with you in your car today or not, this is something which we'll be talking about. Let's see what's happening. In, in Pakistan in terms of weather. Weather updates it's from around the country. Mm. All right, so yeah, mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during next 24 hours. Foggy conditions expected at a few places in plain areas of Punjab and Upper Sin, and continental air is prevailing in most parts of the country. A shallow westerly wave is still present in northern areas of the country and likely to move eastward during the next 12 hours. Great. So I think everything's chilling, ladies and gentlemen, but just keep yourselves warm because we do not want any of our viewers or anybody out there to fall sick or be under the weather. Absolutely. Very cold and dry weather is expected. Okay. So yeah, now coming down to what we are talking about. So, you know, when I was a teenager, I was always, always psyched about these crossover episodes that we had on Disney Channel. So Hannah Montana and Jonas Brothers would come together in one episode and yeah. it was a blast. It was such an amazing surprise for all the viewers out there. And this episode is sort of a crossover episode for us <laughs> as well. Because it ladies is. and gentlemen, PTV World is in collaboration with... With, go on, you PTV tell me. Home today. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, imagine two breakfast shows together on your screens. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So, stay tuned exactly. to find out who this person is. Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> talking about this person, he was born in Rawal Pindi. He did his graduation from there as well. He was born in February and was back in the day too as well. I think that this is one of those gentlemen whom uh, who's actually given inspiration to a lot of people. He was one of those people in my life he's played that role as well where I wanted to be on television because of this gentleman himself wow. and then I've always seen him working very hard he's always been there for me too as well whenever I needed some advice I'll call him he'll call us over he'll give us some guidance some guidelines that you know put aise kar lo, bete aise kar lo. and he's always been a team member or probably you know he's he's like the you know because when we go to school we say that you know, teachers are obviously your spiritual parents. So yeah. in the terms, I think that within the industry over here in Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, 
he is definitely my spiritual father. That's how, how, how I would like to put it too as well. He was 17 years old when he actually started doing radio back in 1987, imagine. Wow. Then when he, he was a teenager, yes. Oh, sorry, yes, you mentioned 17 it already. Yes, <laughs> 17 says teen, yeah. So, okay, but in 90s, he moved on to actually uh, be the first ever actually news anchor who actually used to read uh, news in English too as wow. well with PTV, worked here for wow. four years, then got into production, nine years, ba uh, nine years gap, then he had his own production house, Black Box, which is doing um, some amazing things. They do call me over at times and they tell me that, you know, we need voiceovers and then I'm like budget and then they're like, oh, okay, so we'll talk about <laughs> that too as well. So it's Faisal probably on the other TV channel. We will definitely make you meet him, but not that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think that he's one of those people whom, whom people have actually taken inspiration from. Yeah, and I think definitely. that he's one of those role models too as well to have been followed within the media industry. He's none other than a legend right over here in the studio. Drum rolls. Mr. <laughs> Tawseek Heather. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Good morning. Wa alaikum assalam. Amazing, amazing. Thank you very much for such a super duper introduction. Oh. I'm really humbled. Thank you very much. Thank and so it's much. great to have you over here. Absolutely. Our Mujhe pleasure. Rona <laughs> <laughs> but Tasik, by you. <laughs> you, you're definitely a wonderful human being. But we definitely people out there, you know, because we go out in 45 different countries. I know all over the globe, people know you. But we want to hear it from you. You know, yeah. it's like heart to heart today. Yeah. So early in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, heart to heart with Tasik Heather. Let's so get who started. Is three, three hearts. <laughs> three yeah. hearts. Yes. It's not heart to heart. It's heart to and hearts. heart to heart. It's, it's a heart it's triangle. Heart triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's get started. Hmm. Who's Tasik Heather? I think Tosi Kader is a kid who never let the child inside him die out. Wow. The child inside me is still young yeah. and is still a kid. And I think that is the beauty of life. Uh, what goes wrong where is that when we grow up, uh, we, uh, when we are a child, our parents start telling us, uh, you're no more a kid. Right. Grow up. Right. Act like a grown up man. Mm. And that is where we lose the beauty of living and creating a life. Wow. And I think I, uh, what I, if you ask me to introduce myself, I would like to introduce myself as a person who never let the child inside him die out and who always, um, who always has been curious about new, beautiful, interesting things about life. Wow, wow, wow that's beautiful. So you happen to be a Pisces. <laughs> so like every other Pisces, do you feel like you're very easily pleased, easily impressed? And also you want to please everyone around you and be the nice guy? How come you know so much about Pisces? I do believe in horoscopes, so yeah. <laughs> so are you? But first you asked me, if, do I believe in horoscopes? Oh, because do I don't know much. Of, <laughs> this is the maximum information about Pisces. That <laughs> For real? I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, on a serious note, um, I'm actually a cusp on Pisces and Aquarius. Okay. So okay. I was born on the 19th of February. Wow. Yeah. So that is ex exactly the date when Aquarius hmm. is ending and Pisces, Pisces is starting. Okay. So you cannot categorize me as hmm. a Piscean. Yeah. I'm an Aquarian as well. Okay. So you have now asking trait. me, am I more of an Aquarian or a Piscean? I don't know <laughs> because I'm, I'm not into. I'm Aquarius okay. too as well, probably. Wow. So we can relate to that. Okay. So I do. I, Okay. I think if you go by definition, I'm right. more of an Aquarian. Oh, okay. So since we were talking about this, so uh, again, I don't know you're an Aquarian, Aquarian but Pisces Aquarian. also seem to be humble, you know. And just a while ago, we were speaking to one of your teammates who happened to work with you. Yeah. She was your makeup artist at a show that you used to do. And we were talking about back in 2005. Okay. So she was a makeup artist and we, she spoke about how humble you are still, mashallah. And she said there was a, a you know, live show going on and there was this person on your show. She had to fix her makeup. She came into the frame. It was a break time. She accidentally broke a jar and it was all over the floor and then she went away and then you handled it so you know appropriately and you sort of also made fun of it and handled it, handled it as well without screaming at her and she is still a fan of you which is amazing <laughs> I don't know I'm 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 actually really humbled and uh, thank you very much for thank you very much <laughs> for telling the story um, well I, what else I can well, say I, I, I am like that I, I don't think I'm humble because then again, you are, you are categorizing somebody to be somebody. I think that is how every human should be. Right. We, why shout and scream at each other? I mean, mm. I think that's, that, that's normal. By the way, that's normal for me. Okay. The way I am, people call me humble. I think that's how everyone should be. Yeah. 
and and I think it is very important too as well, which is why that we are actually going to put his humbleness to a test and share a picture with you guys, which is probably from back in the 90s too as well. Let's see what he has to say about it because I think that he's groomed a lot. Oh no, it's not 90s. <laughs> it is uh, uh, the breakfast show when I used to do it on PTV Home with the name of Rising Pakistan. Yes. And the year is 2008. Oh, so 2008, this wow. This is almost the 10-year challenge that we were talking about. This is, to, this <laughs> yeah, is yeah, exactly 10-year yeah. 10 10 wow. challenge. <laughs> yes, so from exactly. 2008 to 2019, ladies and gentlemen, it might have taken us a year longer too as well. But what do you think? <laughs> How do you do that? I mean, I mean, it's like... No, I think I'm a big fat cow now. Oh, no, come no on, you're not. Sir, you're you not at all. <laughs> I mean, this is something which you're thinking about. This again is 2009. Wow. Wow. Exactly 10 years ago, wow. <laughs> I'm about to cry in this picture, no? Exactly. <laughs> wow. Oh, so look at this one. <laughs> this, this is 2013, there. 14, 13. Wow. <clears throat> uh, is this uh, latest? This is, this is my current show. Uh, this is 2018. Breakfast at home. Breakfast at home. Mm. Oh, that's great. So, okay, well, what took you nine years to come back to on the screen because you went into production and then you took you have black box mm -hmm. it's doing wonders it's in affiliation with so many other organizations which are international and then you yeah i was i think uh, i think she thought i was enjoying that i was enjoying being off camera hmm. okay. uh, because i i always loved what i do yeah so in 2009 when i decided to quit the industry and go off camera uh, that was a very, very good decision because that gave me a lot of um, opportunity to to maybe meet myself yeah. and and discover other other talents mm. hidden inside me and uh, and I think I I'm I'm happy with whatever I did in those nine years because okay. behind the camera working as a director was was a great beautiful feeling and one fine morning again in 2018 I said. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Well, that's <laughs> wow. great. Okay, so now I'm going to come down to a point where it was very hard for me initially to actually enter into television hmm. because my mother was very against it and my father was a pro and then he said that why you should actually go to Karachi and be and participate in these different competitions which were taking place. Now, you being the youngest, was it very easy for you to be a radio jockey back in... Uh, 1987 where people actually kind of were stereotypical about being in the industry how did it all happen for you I think it was not at all difficult because my father used to write for radio okay and my chacha uh, was um, a very famous radio broadcaster wow. later on uh, he was acknowledged with pride of performance and you know we had a radio background and media background um, within the family yeah. and my elder sister was doing radio broadcasting okay. four years even before that yeah. I started doing it she, she started uh, doing radio broadcasting in 1983 okay so there was already the spade work okay. was done so my my uh, my um, journey at the start of my journey was not very turbulent okay uh, my parents were really really happy with whatever i was doing they were really actually happy with whatever our, uh, our the other siblings were doing so my parents were never like forj me jao doctor bano right. my eldest brother is a doctor but he yeah. you know he chose well, for in, in his case i think my father was a little <laughs> doctor bano <laughs> type okay. of approach but in my case i think um, i was given complete freedom had i wanted to be um, a doctor or a foggy yeah. or a journalist or mm. you know anyone uh, and I actually started off my career as uh, as a as an automobile sales person really for real yes. wow in 1994 okay I was doing broadcasting yeah, yeah. but that was like a student broadcast yeah. pocket Probably. money but my actual job was in 1994 I used to work for Honda Motors oh, this wow. Honda Civic Honda and you're proud of it I'm actually wow. very much proud of it because I used to sell cars yeah. Yeah. and I was very good at it. <laughs> I was very convincing. Absolutely. Okay, that's great. So, so now since we get, I know Shiza that you've got a lot of questions too, but I think that I want uh, my questions to be out there in the okay. first place because okay. I'm getting a little personal now. Okay, you perfect. tell me, you tell me all your questions, tell me all your questions, then I pick and choose. <laughs> pick and choose, okay, perfect. Aapka question, aapka question. Okay, so now for people who are on television, or uh, back in 90s and 80s, you know, especially it was that time when only PTV existed and you were the face too as well, uh, which used to appear on television. A lot of people go crazy about 
people on television too as well. You know where I'm going. So, I, so, so what kind I of precisely know where you're going? <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of fan mails did you used to get? At you know, that? I was going to ask the same thing. Okay, it's all right. Well, I've already asked it. So, what kind of fan mails? And then, and then, did you ever fall in love too as well with somebody who was actually writing to you a lot, and then you guys met or something of that sort? Second question first. Okay. okay. No, I did not. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> you get the answer? Yeah, no? I got it. I got it. <laughs> No, but on a serious note, yes, uh, back then, back in the days, they were, the social media was, we didn't have any WhatsApp yeah. messages and right. no SMS and stuff like that. So, maximum of communication between a viewer and um, a person who was yeah. appearing on TV was handwritten letters. So, yes, we used to get packs and packs and packs of uh, handwritten letters with hearts and an arrow <laughs> going inside the heart. But that's and so blood. pure as well, right? Absolutely. I, I think that is, I'm not saying that is more pure. Yeah. yeah. But that requires an amount of an effort. Right. You know, oh, Shazad Bhai, aapki aankhe itni pyari hain. <laughs> wow. The teer going inside the heart and Shazad Bhai. And, you know. Right. I like that. At one point though. you're saying Bhai, but yeah. at the second one you're having a heart with an arrow. <laughs> yeah. So, but to make that thing <laughs> on, uh, on a cushion cover with yeah. your hands. Wow. Embroidery. And sending it to Shazad Bhai. Mm. <laughs> And asking him <laughs> for mean, for a I've date. I've never ever been I mean, so many like, times, bhai, though. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. But but on a serious note, I think that that requires an amount of actually a lot of effort. Exactly. Absolutely. Forwarding a nice heart on WhatsApp to Shazad, to mm -hmm. Shazad or Tasik, yeah. I think it's much easier right, now. Right. So back then, I'm not saying the love was more pure. But what I'm trying to say, people used to make a lot of effort mm. to show their appreciation yeah. and show their love and uh, and their feeling affection. towards and affection towards the stars. Exactly. Uh, today, expressing that is much easier. It's just tuck, tuck, copy, paste, send, copy, <laughs> paste, send. Yeah. Like, love, like, love, follow. And but now uh, there's this problem, you know, if you forward a message in WhatsApp and, you know, if somebody wrote something very nice to you, so it says forwarded as well. So you have to write it again. <laughs> But now, ladies and gentlemen, since, you know, everybody has showered uh, Mr. Tasik Heather with a lot of love, yeah. immensely, I think. And then the people pray for, for people who are actually on television too as well. So what we've done is that we actually want all of those generations to be a little nostalgic about yeah. how it was back in the days too as well and how it is now. So we've made a small clip for you, sir. Oh, and my gosh. Really? You did air. that? So let's I hate do that. You. <laughs> just, just go ahead and take a look at this clip. मेरे साथ एक ऐसी शख्सियत सुबह पाकिस्तान में मौजूद है कि जिन्होंने पाकिस्तान में इस चीज की रिवायत को रखा यानी लाइव कुकिंग शोज इस उम्र में ये सब कुछ करने से क्या ये महसूस नहीं करती कि इन्होंने अपना बचपन उस तरह से एंजॉय नहीं किया जिस तरह के बाकी बच्चे करते हैं एट व्हाट कॉस्ट हैज शी अचीव्ड व्हाट शी वांटेड वेरी हमारे साथ राइजिंग पाकिस्तान अस्सलाम वालेकुम वो हमसे ज्यादा अच्छा नहीं था जो मेरे आप जैसा था लेकिन इस झमेलों वाली जिंदगी से आजाद था जोश जनू का है इसे शर्त हम देखते हैं सौदा है कदम पे चल रहा है लेकिन मैं उसको अपना रिकॉर्ड तोड़ने में नहीं तोड़ने नहीं यानी दरख्त पे चढ़ना नहीं सिखाएगी बिल्ली दरख्त पे चढ़ना तो सिखाऊंगी <laughs> wow, Beautiful. this was absolutely so nostalgic for him as well and for us as well, you know. We absolutely love watching all those clips together. Exactly. But to be a people's person, to be loved so much, do you enjoy the attention? Are you sometimes carried sometimes away by not. the attention? Sometimes not. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, at love, yes. Appreciation, yes. Hmm. Who doesn't want to be loved? Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes I feel that uh, to be... Uh, to be in the eyes of everyone all the time yeah. uh, also keeps you away from lots and lots of other personal things. Does it affect the family life though? Uh, no, not really. I think it's all uh, up to you how you handle stardom. Wow. 
No, but was it love marriage? Was it arranged marriage? I mean, this is, this is something... What? Whose marriage are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm talking about your marriage. Ah, my marriage. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was uh, love, okay. but never materialized to be a marriage. Wow. Okay. And how did you achieve that then? I mean, it, it's How did I achieve love? No, yeah. no. Uh, oh, she loved me, I loved her back. No, that it wasn't materialized. I, I think uh, love has got... Uh, love is a totally different... A world, yeah, and marriage is a totally different. Understand, world. okay? Understand, <laughs> people who are out there. These, these are wise words. Understand. I, I know which people are you talking about. There's <laughs> only one people that you want her to understand. <laughs> Deco Begum, love is different and Shadi is different, right? Uh, it's not like that. Well, well, okay. So now what we have done is that to be on a lighter note, we've actually picked up five questions which we want you to answer. All right. They are a little tricky. Shoot it. A little stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but then at the same time, I think people are going to enjoy it. Yeah. So the first one's like this. So I'm tall when I'm young and I'm small when I'm old. What am I? <laughs> I'm young. <laughs> no, no, no. When you, I mean, try, try. I know. I'm tall when I'm young. Young. I'm small when I'm old. I'm small when I'm old. <laughs> I am so bad at riddles. Okay. I have. This Probably, is. You know, this I think is, load shedding is a hint. This is hint. ice cream. <laughs> load shedding. Oh, is that, that, that's oh, good too as well. Yeah. That's good too. I think that's a true answer. A chalk bar. Yes. Wow. I'm tall when I'm young. <laughs> I'm small when small. I'm old. Wow. But makes sense. Uh, yeah, that, it makes sense. But the right answer with us was a candle. Oh, okay. Yeah. A candle. Yes, okay. But so it's closed. You can't, you can't call <laughs> no, it a wrong it's answer. Exactly. It's, it's not. Other number. I want other number. Other yeah, number. Yeah. Other number. Other number. Right. Okay. Given. <laughs> so what has hands but cannot clap? Very easy. Oh, yeah. What has hands, hands. but cannot clap? That's as easy. <laughs> I know. But let me think. What has hands but cannot clap? It's right on top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Just look around, just look around, you'll find it. Over there, over there. I mean, that's, that's a hint. A clock? A clock, ah, yes! <laughs> or probably a penguin too as well. No, you know? no, no, it can be other answers also. Let me think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Mushkal Thayyip. You can drop me from the tallest building and I will survive, but if you drop me in water, I will die. Cat. Oh, no. A cat dies in water, I'm pretty sure it not does really not. Not really dies, <laughs> but the cats don't like water. Yeah. yeah, they do not like water, but no, it's not the right answer. Acha? Yeah. No, but if you drop me... If you from drop the tallest cat, building. From, oh, well, not the tallest building. Paper. Ah. Yes. Oh. Okay, Paper. so... Smart. That okay. was great. So, that was good. So, second last question. Which word in the dictionary is spelled incorrectly? <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Ah, oh wow! That was, easy. <laughs> that was easy. What needs to be broken before you use it? What okay, needs it's to funny. Be broken, broken before, before you, you make use, use it. it. Use yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think a coconut. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's great. The answer is similar, but yes, or, we'll uh, take coconut uh, for an egg. answer. Huh? Walnut. Walnut. Or yeah. egg? Yes, absolutely exactly. right. Though. An egg. Wow. An egg? And I what, was your, what was your correct answer? Uh, egg is an the egg. correct answer. No, but I need full marks for this <laughs> because coconut is also correct and walnut is also correct. I do yeah. agree with you. They though, are, yes. they are correct. But, uh, so my two answers are full correct. Exactly. One is half correct. And one... And two are exactly. incorrect. Yeah. So, okay. so we're going to give you one more, okay? Okay. All right. Because we do not believe in gift hampers. We believe in gift huggies too as well <laughs> after the show. But then, okay, so it goes up, it comes down, but it stays at the same place. Even I don't know this one. It goes up. It goes it down. Goes, it, and it, it goes down. And, comes, yeah, yeah, and it stays at the same oh, place. Oh, I know. What, oh, got it. <laughs> it's literally so easy. Acha. You use and it early in the morning too as well. I do? Yeah. <laughs> goes up. That, that's more confusing, I believe. <laughs> Stairs. Stairs. Yeah, they, they go, <laughs> go up there and they go down and they stay at the same place. That was a good one. That was actually the best one. Yeah, really thank you well. for that. Yeah, thank you very much for that. But now, so, two and a half out of six. I think you, you've actually scored ten out of six. And, yeah, we you know, loved so your answers. Whatever you say was correct from us too as well. <laughs> but now it's about time that we actually want you to share words of wisdom with all of us too as well, where we want to talk about Today's trends of about, I mean, in this time and mm. age, we you see a lot of morning shows. You yourself have been a pioneer too as well. You're still doing one. 
what will be your recommendations for the younger generations who are actually on television and might not even think about all of those things, which you might see that, you know, this is something which one shouldn't be doing. This is one thing which one should be doing. Because I think now it's time that you give back to us too as hmm. well, where you educate us that, okay, put aise kar lo, aise kar lo, and things will be better. I don't know one thing which I, but that is not only um, true for TV show hosts. Okay but generally for everyone. We are a very information-centric, we are becoming hmm. a very information-centric society. Exactly. What I want all of us to become is a more of a knowledge-centric society. I wish. So the difference between information and knowledge. Hmm. I might, n I'll be happier if I'm not a well-informed person, hmm. but I will be really unhappy if I'm not a well knowledged person, right, you know, right. like yeah. makes sense, makes so sense. I, I think the smartphones, the social media, the, the WhatsApps and the Instas and the Facebooks, they are creating a lot of knowledge yeah. around us. Uh, they're creating a lot of information actually. around right, us. Right. But I would love our show hosts and myself too. I also don't find time hmm. to read books anymore. Right. Uh, thanks to this uh, uh, not very um, uh, healthy lifestyle. <laughs> But I would also want myself to read more books. I would want all the show hosts to read, read, and read, and increase their knowledge. We are, we are very informed, you know. What is uh, uh, the trends these days, right. and who's saying what, and who said what, yeah. and... Who wore what? <laughs> and, but I, I think reading books is something that... Read and since we are talking about reading books, it's a little off topic, but one of your favorite books happens to be Alchemist. Yeah. I mean, Shizam wants to answer all the questions in the first place. I mean, we should have asked him, no? Okay, what is your favorite book again? <laughs> No, but Shiza is right because she's done research on me. Yes. <laughs> and I think back Thank in you, the day, sometime in an interview, I must have s said that Alchemist, yeah. yes, um, I, I, I like that book. And I, what about when it? I, when I read that book, hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know, also when you, when you grow with time, when you grow older and when you read a lot, uh, there's all a likelihood that something that you liked 20 years ago yeah, might have changed uh, might have changed right. or i'm not saying that i don't like alchemist yeah. or okay. Colocolo anymore but um I, I think it was it was really and back then it was really an eye opener it uh, gave me a great chance to uh, to to meet myself wow. uh, the, the the character of fatima in in that hmm. uh, that fiction uh, was really really interesting absolutely uh, and uh, so so I liked it back then. I, sh I still like the writer. I wow. still like the book. But then, obviously, time moves on and you read and other you stuff And you sort of grow well. out of things yeah. and get into newer things. Newer things, which is very healthy. Mm, of course. Exactly. Which, is, which is why which I'm is going great. to move on to your favorite actor as well. A lot of people love him, Tom Hanks. Oh, why Tom Hanks? Tom and Hanks. you know, when, when while you were why not Tom Hanks? Uh, why? Why? I mean, in the first why not? <laughs> I mean, okay, we, we agree it. to that as well. A lot of other people love him too as well. But why? Why? What inspires you about Tom Hanks? Or I let's talk about your favorite movie of him. I think what I like about Tom Hanks is that he doesn't act. Yeah, he's just natural, right? So natural. Man. I mean, he's just like that. <laughs> okay, so even if you're going to make him sit on the sofa, he'll be like that. Okay, yeah. And he's, but he's very sitting on a red sofa with a. Pretty young lady. <laughs> wow, you're Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think I like it too as well. But now coming down to where we wanted to talk about your hobbies too as well. You you were an adventurer, you were a traveler, you socialized a lot. Sorry, she asked me a question and about we the film. Oh yes, please yeah. go ahead. That's a very good question and the but answer a hard is very one. because I, when you like a star, you like everything that exactly. I do she get it, yes. And, uh, but I think uh, my pick will be out of two. Okay, Forrest Gump or Philadelphia? Forrest Gump, Forrest Philadelphia. Gump. I knew Forrest, Forrest Gump, Gump was going to be one Forrest of them. Gump. I think Philadelphia. Oh, okay, oh, wow. I think. Uh, I like Private Ryan though. Pri it's every, you know, each every, one of them. Every though. work of his is great. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so now coming down to your hobbies. My hobbies. Hmm. Um, I think I hmm, travel a lot, a lot. And I like to travel. And that is my hobby experimenting with cuisine with food adventure food adventure is my hobby eating different th new things uh, which sometimes I like but sometimes I do not like okay. but nevertheless but I, experimenting. I experiment whenever I go abroad to a new country I would rather try to be a curious cat and try to find out what new is there mm. in this uh, cooking style and I want to try different kinds of chilies or desserts or mm. something like that so 
uh, eating. I'm a foodie. And what else uh, is my hobby? I think talking to people Socializing. is my hobby. Yeah. Do you enjoy company though, or would you rather go on adventures alone? No, oh, company. Okay I'm, oh, going okay. To, I, I, okay, I'm going to share one of my experiences as well. Okay. So one day, I think that we were at somebody's house warming and you know, Tosik Bhai was there too as well. Okay. So I think we probably conversed for like 45 minutes and I never realized that we've actually conversed for this long as well. And we were standing in a staircase. <laughs> oh. So imagine we didn't move and then we were just talking and I was But like, there were know, other oh. reasons also for <laughs> such a long conversation. Yeah, there can be so many other reasons. But it was wonderful because once you start talking to Mr. Tosik, the ladies and gentlemen, I mean, he won't actually let you be distracted of the fact that he's going to share so much information, but with, uh, you know, he'll be so relaxed while sharing this information because, you know, we, when we are talking, we have to think about things as well and then say them. Right. It's just that it's, it's right here. So, you know, he opens the mouth and knowledge is out. Okay. Wow. You know, here you go. Here you go. Words of wisdom so, all the time. <laughs> yeah, obviously it is. So now let's talk about your favorite food items as well. You, I took him out for dinner last night oh, so that he can say all these good things <laughs> about me on air. You bribed him. This is how it works. This is how it works. No, we are jo just joking. But now let's come. Since we went out for dinner, what did we eat? What do you like eating? Yeah. But I just answered. I think everything and anything, anything new uh, will be my pick. But generally, biryani? Uh, very, very desi things. Okay. Uh, no, I would rather go for Nihari wow. Oh, wow. than biryani. Okay. So then for Nihari, I think we'll have to go to Karachi, right? <laughs> no, but in, in Islamabad also, there are great Nihari places. You want to tell yeah, you yeah, the names? Ahead. Yeah. Well, I hope your sales department will not be after you no, for they promoting. Won't be <laughs> they won't be not. because you're saying it. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Delhi Darwaza, yeah. uh, okay. uh, Nihari is good. <laughs> Uh, and uh, where else did I have a very good Nihari lately? Yeah, Melody Food Park. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, mm. okay, makes sense. So you're a foodie? Indeed. Okay, absolutely great. <laughs> you're a foodie as well, right? I am a great foodie. I mean, just look at me, look at my size. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's so it good. Happens. <laughs> it happens, yeah. But now, sir, you're hiding your. <coughs> mashallah, mashallah. Uh, good health, we call it good health <laughs> under this beautiful jacket. <laughs> no, no, it, it's just my muffler. Come on, I'll have to open it up. I'm actually working on my abs these days. Come on. Prove it. Me. It's just, ladies and gentlemen, it's not something else. Uh, and you know, over here, I think that we have this trend of uh, calling somebody who's fat, we call them healthy. You know, I, I think that we do not have this habit of telling people in the face. Dude, you probably need to work out. <laughs> I think especially I think you cannot tell this thing to, right. to probably a woman. Can, can you share this thing with a woman that you're actually getting <laughs> fat? No, I think that comes under body shaming. Yeah. It is, right? Thank you for saying that. So how do you, how do you open their eyes to something which is not good for them? I Basically, don't. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's well, one I mean. way to do it too as well. <laughs> But for people whom you love, uh, at times you have to be very straightforward to of them course, so that they can... So that, that's different when you, you, you it's, when it's family, it's your closer fr friends and uh, you have to tell them that, you know, and I tell them, yeah. look at yourself, you look like a cow or whatever. Oh God, I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, now, now moving on, you know, ladies and gentlemen, it, this conversation is very mesmerizing to as well. <laughs> but now for somebody whom we have followed, he might have followed somebody as well in his yeah. life and he might have admired someone too as well. I'm giving him time to think as well because <laughs> now he can decide. So, you know, while you were on radio, while you, uh, when you started your TV career, who did you used to listen to or watch shows about or think that, you know, this is what you wanted to do in life? To tell you honestly, this might sound a little arrogant. Or and okay. narcissistic. <laughs> I was going to use the word, but I was being kind. No, don't be. <laughs> <laughs> don't be kind to me. Yeah. But to tell you the truth, I never used to because of the fact that I've always been an outdoor person in my yeah. TJs, uh, teenagers. Uh, in my teenage, <laughs> I used to be out uh, at the badminton court. I used to be out playing cricket, uh, cycling and all. And just because I did not belong to a very rich, affluent background so I needed money so oh. to create money I joined Radio Pakistan okay. so I did not go to Radio Pakistan just because of the fact that I wanted to be a star and I wanted <laughs> to be a broadcaster I wanted to earn money okay yeah. and okay. so so I used to go and I used to do my work and I was not into uh, a, I was not a radio person mm. Okay. Mm. who would watch TV who would watch radio I'd never watched TV ever so I was playing all the times outdoors and stuff and 
We used to go and work and take money and come back. Okay. But later on in life, I realized and time told me that, gentlemen, that's not hard. That's, you, this is the only thing that you can do in life, hmm. and that is talk. Okay. So <laughs> nothing yeah. else is there for you to earn money from. Right. Yeah. So by default, I became a broadcaster, I became a TV person, hmm. but I never had... Uh, plans to be one. I mm. never wanted to be on TV. I never wanted to be on radio. And you know, it's totally okay to not sort of have a role model because when you start to follow Absolutely. someone, you sort of develop their traits as well and your individuality sort of dies, right? I agree. Uh, so, okay, what Absolutely. is your guilty pleasure? Sometimes it is <laughs> movies for yeah. someone or songs that's for me. That's a difficult one. No, for me, you know, it, it can be a lame movie. <laughs> It can well, you'll be. have to. I mean, chocolate, something, something of yeah, that sort. Yeah, pick something. I safe. can't. You okay. want me to lie? Okay, chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is one question which is not answered. Thanks to Shizam. No, no, I have her answered. Yeah, it's chocolates. Chocolates. It's chocolates. chocolates. Okay, but now uh, I'm going to uh, ask a very serious one okay. over here. So now what I've seen is that, you know, when Moeen Akhtar Saab and all of these legendary beings were on television, what used to happen was that there was no nep nepotism which was existent. But now in days, where, you know, in today's time, we see that a lot of actors who've actually performed, they've pushed their younger siblings into the industry, they've pushed their kids into the industry, where on the other half, I think that it is very, you know, uh, it is very unrealistic for people like right. me, you know, who belong to a background of hmm. a banker's family and then have to be in television or probably have to struggle a lot hmm. to get where they wanted to be in life. What would you say? What would you comment on this? That do you think that there needs to be a platform where you just do not actually give give it to somebody because he's your son or daughter? This, hmm. this is what happens in our neighboring country too as well. We, we see that, that a lot. Which is, do, do you think that the talent actually does not get hunted when we fall into the hands of nepotism? Nepotism is a very strong word. It is. Uh, my take on this is that if at all you call it nepotism, if you are giving a role to your your son or your daughter or your younger brother, uh, yes, technically it is. Yeah. But this, if if at all it is nepotism, this used to happen back in the days as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. We have examples of big stars bringing their siblings and children into the industry. Yeah. So you cannot say that this uh, um, this has been a recent uh, trend. Yeah. One. Uh, secondly. If my younger brother, I don't have a younger brother, but if my younger brother is talented enough, then why not? Yeah, why not? Okay. But having said this, I know what you are saying. Yeah. Hmm. And coming to that, uh, I think becoming a, becoming a star hmm. in today's world is much more easier, Shazad. Yeah. Because of the fact that you do not require any PTV world screen, yeah. any ARY, any Geo, any Sama, hmm. any hum screen yeah. to be a star. You are your own star out here. Exactly. Right. And well, that is tough too. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's not an easy job. <laughs> exactly. But uh, to, to become a star through your mobile phone has changed the dynamics of stardom? becoming exactly of, of stardom yeah. so the power is in your hand ladies and gentlemen <laughs> you have the power of universe right there in your hand exactly okay. wonderful that is so i i think showing your talent hmm. and getting acknowledged um for your talent uh, is much more easier these days are you yeah. a social media freak i am i i was born in caves i was born in caves <laughs> Yeah. I, my class fellows were dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. For real. I do not like social media. My colleague Roger mm -hmm. Francis is sitting right there okay. and he's laughing and he knows for a fact I do not have uh, Facebook on my phone. Okay. I do not have Insta on my phone. Hmm. I don't tweet. I have a Facebook account right. but I use it on a laptop. On my phone, I only use WhatsApp. And, wow. that's and you know, since you're talking about Twitter, I searched you yesterday to, of course, you know, read things about you. And the last tweet he put out was in 2015. Wow. So, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great. Yes, yes. But yes. Now, sir, I'm proud of it. <laughs> now, towards the end, uh, so on 29th of January, you know, it's PTV World's birth anniversary too as well. For us, we started this Happy journey birthday. from 2013. So, whatever you would want to say about PTV World, please go ahead and share your words. Because mm. it's That's the only difficult. English channel existent in Pakistan, goes out in 45 different countries. I know, I yes. know. So I whatever know. you want to say. 
I think PTV World is a is a is a beautiful window, uh, which is opening on the other side. <coughs> and uh, please use this window. Uh, look through this window to Pakistan and to you guys Thank and you. the the family of PTV World. I would say, show the real beautiful Pakistan through this window, Indeed, which I'm sure you do. That's what I'm looking at the promos and everything. Uh, so, so I think, um, yeah, um, PDB World is the window to, to opening towards the world from our side. Amazing. Wow. Thank you very much, sir, for Thank being with so us. Much. It was lovely to have you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you very much for Thank sharing so all much. of that Thank you, sir. kind of information, which you might have never shared or probably you might have. But then I think that it was uh, good to get a refresher hmm. too as well. True. And uh, all the best for your future endeavors. May you prosper oh. amongst, uh, amongst us, obviously, and with success, with prosperity, which you have tasted. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much for making an effort to, to go and uh, search for me. And thank you for lovely <laughs> researched questions. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so it's very our happy. Team, by but the way. only in the end, I would just like to tell you sure. one thing. Sure, go ahead. Where your research team failed. Sure, go ahead. Oh, totally. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Fingers it's crossed. all right. Positive criticism. I'm not married. <laughs> Oh. I found that out when you oh, asked me. No, 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 no. I mean, okay, that's why you're asking me, oh, was it a love marriage or what is it, arranged marriage? <laughs> All right, that's great. Okay, okay, we found that out by meeting you, which is absolutely great. And it's so amazing to meet a person who has an institution in himself, right? Beauty of life shows, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we wanted to keep it lighthearted. This is somewhere, I think, I uh, loved, we all missed it too as well. But thank, thank you very much, sir, for being with us. It was lovely to have you. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go head out for a short break. Don't go anywhere. Because when you guys will come back, we're actually going to talk about garlic. Really? Let's do it. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is World This Morning with the amazing, amazing and the energetic Shazad Khan and Shazad Hashmi. And we absolutely loved our first segment, but we're not going to discuss that because we're short on time. So over to Lubna, where she's going to discuss some fun facts about garlic. Weird, okay. but amazing. Let's see. <laughs> okay, go yeah, ahead. Go Lubna. ahead, Lubna. Good morning, Hi, everybody. how are you? I'm good. How are you all? Absolutely. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about fun facts about garlic, healthy facts actually. So garlic is a very intensely flavorful um, superfood that I like to call it. It's number two on my list after turmeric. Um, so garlic, what does it do for you? Well, number one, going back in the history, it was used by Romans, Greeks, um, Latin people, it was used by soldiers, sailors, uh, to, per, uh, to enhance their performance. It was used to um, any kind of exercise that you do and the fatigue induced by it. It was used to um, fight that and that was uh, one important thing that garlic was doing for everybody. It was helping them perform better, enhance their performance. The number two thing that I want to talk about for garlic is that it helps you fight colds. So I know there's a crazy viral going around right now and everybody's like coughing and getting sick. So garlic is excellent for fighting colds. It 
actually takes your colds away. If your cold was to last about seven days, it will take it away in one and a half days. And 63% of colds are fought um, better if you're consuming garlic in your soups or your teas or anything like that. So that's a really good trick that you can do if you're sick right now. The number three thing that I want to mention is that garlic hates heavy metal. Now, I'm not talking about the music, I'm <laughs> talking about um, a lead and mercury. Now, because of the pollution and the foods that we consume right now, there's so many different um, you know, minerals and things that are not needed by the body. So when there is an excess in there, obviously it causes cell damage in the brain and organs and stuff like that. So it can take that away. So if you're adding garlic in your foods, garlic will help take that away from, from there as well. The number four thing I want to mention is that the gar garlic is very heart healthy. So we spoke about um, cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Well, garlic helps tame that. So garlic will tame your blood pressure, bring it down if it is high, and it will bring your LDL levels, which I mentioned earlier um, last time on the show, that that's your bad cholesterol. So it helps bring that down as well. So garlic is great for that. <laughs> also, if you're experiencing hair loss, garlic oil is excellent for that. So here's something that I guarantee, but I know it's really hard to do, especially if you are working every day and everything, but this is a guarantee. If you use garlic oil on your scalp for three months in a row every day, leave it on your hair for about 10 minutes and then wash it, it away. It smells. I know, <laughs> <laughs> but it really, really helps with hair loss. So if you're having hair loss, it will take that away. Yeah. The number fifth thing that I want to mention is that Alzheimer's, so any kind of dementia, is very much on the rise right now. It helps take that away as well and helps stop that. Because of the free radicals and oxidative stress that we put in our bodies these days, it helps the cell damage and brain damage that, that is caused by dementia. So garlic is great to consume in that sense as well. And the last thing that I want to mention is that garlic helps with diabetes. So if wow. you're somebody that has high sugar levels, high blood sugar levels, garlic will help bring that down. But here's something that I will caution you guys as well. If you are someone who is already on medicines that are used for blood thinning or already to bring your sugar levels down, then do not consume extra garlic. So just use it in your normal culinary use. You're using it in your food. That's great. Don't go overboard with it because it is like very strong. So be very careful and always consult your doctor when you're trying to consume more herbs. And I know it smells. I know Shadad mentioned that. So here's something else you can do. You can find garlic supplements and that powder, you can mix it in coconut oil or any kind of olive oil and apply that on your hair as well. And if, even if you're trying to consume garlic more in your diet, you can take in the supplement instead of just eating it raw or anything like yeah. that. Okay, right. but then at the same time over here in Pakistani household, you know, we put garlic, garlic almost in everywhere. every other day. Yeah. So is it important to have it like separately? What amounts so of garlic? Definitely. So in a garlic, there's about, in the bulb itself, there's about four or two twenty cloves in there. Okay. So four is the, the goal that you should be going towards. Okay. So four cloves a day is a perfect amount of, um, that any person on average needs, the amount that you need. So yes, raw does have more benefits mm. than the cooked one. So how you can consume it raw, what I like to do is when I'm having my breakfast and I ever want to make like garlic toast, I'll add in my butter okay. after chopping okay. it. So that's one way you can do it. You can put it in your green tea. I know people love adding ginger, but garlic is also something you can oh, add yes. as well. Um, also what you can do in your soups, you can just drop a clove in there. Okay. So instead of chopping it and cooking it for so long, you can try consuming it raw. Even salad dressing, just chop it up, shake it in your olive oil and put it on your salad. It's wow, really makes that's sense. Great. Amazing, sense. that is wonderful as well. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to have the best garlic, please make sure that you actually try garlic mushroom toast as well. It's okay. wonderful. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I want to have it. So thank you so much for informing us, Lubna. And the one thing that I'm taking it away from today is that uh, garlic helps you fight cold. So everyone out there who's feeling cold and who's feeling sick and whatnot, garlic is your answer to everything. Exactly. Do write to us on our Facebook page, which is with the name of... Well, this morning. On Twitter. <laughs> well, this morning without a G. Daily Motion and YouTube. Well, this morning. This fabulous is going to be a... Five past 11 p.m. Till the next time, one, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you.